and the results show what's up everyone and welcome back to another video it is vlog number 22 or 21 it's crazy that i've been doing this for three weeks now posting every day so we got the official mri results in and the results show nothing literally nothing because of the the mri was only scheduled for a particular area and the area where it's hurt was not shown on the mri the only thing we can suspect is uh hip flexor tendonitis just because of the location of the injury right in front of the groin near the hip um the pain i experienced and just how long i've been experiencing it for just makes us suspect is hip flexor tendonitis so hip flexor tendonitis takes about six to eight weeks to heal in a healthier human being and could take longer depending on how severe the injury is of course and how uh healthier of an individual you are i'm on week three right now of being off of uh running and so i'll probably have three more weeks left of uh no running but the doctor said i can start incorporating uh runs and walks again and maybe uh some strengthening of the hip but don't get uh too excessive over and make sure you walk before you run first just and just because walking is uh still impact on the ground and running is two times the impact of walking so you want to make sure you can walk pain free first obviously and i could reach a pain scale of one uh one to three i cannot go past three on the pain scale or I have to stop depending on if I go to a physical therapist and say that this might feel a little bit more painful than other things. And same with uh, strength training maybe just to regain motion and stretching back in the hip. So instead of running and walking, uh, I've been doing uh, some cycling. Uh, cycling has, I've been doing it since uh, Saturday and it's uh, Thursday now. And I probably will not cycle today just because I experienced a little pain yesterday at the end of the ride and kind of woke up with pain this morning. So I'm not going to be cycling today. And I probably won't start running until uh probably next week, maybe late next week. I'm probably going to start walking pretty soon though, just to see how that feels if it hurts. We'll see how that goes just to make sure that uh, everything's okay and not have to restart the process again. And the same goes for strength training. I'll make sure that I'm okay and uh, pain free uh, most of the time, just on a one to three pain scale to just uh, make sure that I don't get uh, even, even worse than the injury. So the thing is, the race is coming up this weekend, and there's a 5K on Saturday, and the half is on Sunday. I obviously won't be racing the half marathon, but I did have the chance to run, walk the 5K. But I did end up turning that down just because I felt like I might get a little competitive and run the thing, uh, run, and when I'm not even ready because I went from zero miles all the way to, uh, 5k could go all out maybe, but I just was scared that I might do that or worsen the injury just even if I just walked the thing, and I didn't want to worsen the injury so I just said no. So, but I will be pacing my brother on, uh sunday i think on the bike sadly i'm not pacing him through running or even running the race but you know how that works sometimes injuries happen uh, about more than 50 percent of runners get injured every year that's just part of the sport of running and the best of things that i can just do is know that there's something uh that's uh worth for this injury and maybe it will help teach me something that i need uh for running my for my running journey to continue all right guys that's the end of the video make sure to seek happiness achieve goals and find glory see you tomorrow peace